Well, firstly, Nadem, just an update on the injury. Obviously, you suffered a hamstring injury uh, against Southampton. You seem to be training almost fully out there now. Um, yeah, today was my first day back, and it's, it's good to be back. I think maybe I could have come back maybe one or two days earlier, but they just took extra care because this is this is the business end of the season. So I was trying to keep as many people available as possible. And it's the perfect place to get back to fitness, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I suppose the, weather, the weather's all right. Yeah, the weather's all right. I like the, I prefer the warm film, but it does. Just prepare you for like the uh, the months ahead because I do quite like summers in England as well. And the facilities here are fantastic, aren't they? Yeah, incredible. I've never seen anything like it to be honest with you. Just when you hear about say the uh, pools and stuff that they have just to the side there and the pitches, everything's absolutely perfect. But then again, you expect nothing less from Dubai, do you? Quarter past nine this morning, and there was a, a big group of you in the the sports hall behind us, warming up, preparing for training. It seemed uh, very relaxed, but very together as well. Yeah, most definitely. I think uh, throughout this season, I think from about August time, there've probably been anywhere between five to say ten of us that go in, go in the gym every morning and do work together to prepare for training whether it's just two touch or doing pre-activation all that stuff and it's just been good of although the results haven't been perfect for us i think a lot of us have really enjoyed this season because we've been we've been together for a longer time than you normally would do and you know found out we've got some good friends here you've been here for a good couple of years now you've seen the lows and then the highs shall we say and you seem to be smiling more now than ever before you're always a happy chap yeah. but you seem to be smiling more now yes um as i've, I've been here for since 2012 been here since 2012 uh, I think yeah January 2012 so it's, it's actually quite a while I'm one of the more uh, longer serving players here now probably top four or something like that which is a bit crazy but then also you know I appreciate it because the culture is different and you spend, as I say you spend a lot more time with people you get to know them and when you like your uh, teammates you can't help but be happy can you? And I did notice you bullying Junior Hoyler and Michael Doughty into a series of uh, press ups. No, but no, no, no. It wasn't, it isn't, we, don't, we don't accept bullying at this football club. We just, <laughs> we just like to be fair. And in all fairness, the two of them deserve to do what they did. And looking at the, the press ups that you, you had to do yourself, it looked like even Anua's guns were being tested. <sighs> do you know when you have to do that many? Because it's quite, it's quite a testing session. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say recommend it for, for the faint hearted anyway. But, you know, that's because we do it every day. I suppose we can get by with it today. And just finally, there's. Um, dozen games to go now, the critical part of the season. It's a very key moment for all the players. Yeah, most definitely. Everyone knows this is a time of the season now where you can make the most ground, where you see, for example, like Burnley drawing at Chelsea. Sort of form tables and things like that tend to go out the window just through desperation and necessity for the three points and so on. So hopefully if we can be the team that picks up more points than all the others or you know plays and puts them under pressure then I think that'll make a big difference because the last thing you want to do at this stage is gift teams three points and as long as we don't do that I think we'll be all right. And do you hope to be fit and available for selection for Arsenal? I would love to be yeah I'd love to be but we'll see what the manager says.